Hey, what's up? My name is Andre, and this is my Unreal tutorial about the actors in the level, how to move them, scale them, snap them, and rotate. So pretty much to start it, we can uh, click on some actors and they will be selected in our reward outliner right here. You've got their name and shown which one is selected. I can hide it or show it however I want. I can also select multiple actors by just holding my control key and adding new actors or shift button. I can also hold it and click right here to add them. And I can also, by holding this button, deselect some actors from the one I selected. You can also press Ctrl and Alt. And then while holding left button, I can select multiple stuff that is in our square or rectangle or whatever you draw with it. So that's one thing. And now if I want to, for example, move, move something, and add, I've got this modes, place, shift plus one, I can just drag my cube and I've got those coordinates X, Y, and Z. I can just move it by holding my left button, for example, like this, like this, like this, or just by uh, holding on those on this sphere in the exactly pivot point. If I want to, for example, rotate because the options are right here, move, rotate and scale, I can just click on this or just press E, which is faster because normally you press uh, W, E and R. I can just rotate it however I want. I can also, for, for example, just write the values that I want, for example, rotate 10 or whatever. And also I can scale by pressing R or clicking on this and I can just scale stuff however I want. I can scale multiple stuff by pressing on this arrow in between. I mean this line in between them. And also if I, for example, want to make a simple object, for example, three times bigger, instead of writing or trying to scale it, I can just click on this lock button and then write three. And this will make the change uh, actual to every single like value from the scale. But for example, if this is one, and now I actually write nine. This will make three times bigger scale for this one and this one. So it is not an absolute one like everything will be nine, but everything will be multiplied. You can also reset it to default but only by clicking on this like arrow, go back. And for example, I can hide stuff by clicking on this eye icon next to a certain object. I also get the types of objects that I have here. And by clicking a double click, I can get to a certain object because if you have like thousands of objects in some huge level, then it might be problematic to just fly to it. So you can just double click on them. You can also, for example, add folders and move something to this folder. So we can hide the stuff that you don't want to see for whatever reason. And here's the thing, if I, for example, rotate this and now, for example, I want to make something out of cubes that goes this way. I will have a problem like, sure, I can scale it. But for example, I want a space between them. I, if I want to copy something, I just hold my alt and drag it and I've got a copy. And yeah, I can try to make it like this kind of try to place it in like perfect position. But if I want to delete it, I just press delete. I can just click on this whether or not our transform coordinates are related to certain object or to world. Right now I have related to world, but if I make it related to this object, you can see right now if I copy it, I've got an exact copy on a certain coordinates and I don't have any problem making this. Also, if I, for example, want my stairs to be next to each other, if I copy them and try to move them, I might have a problem with overlapping objects. So there's a way to snap them by holding my V button. I can just snap them to a certain object. So I have like perfectly placed stars and I don't need to worry about some values because you can, for example, move something by just either moving your mouse, either hard coding it, let's say 400 or using math, for example, plus 50 and it's uh, works for every kind of transform you are using here. You can also, for example, when you select multiple stuff, move them and rotate them and scale them at once. So it's up to you what you do. Control Z is just back like 
the classic one in uh, software development. You can also change the values of snapping. So right now I'm moving by one whenever I move, but I can change it to like 500. And now it moves by 500. The same goes for rotation and for scaling. And also if I, for example, want to make a certain change to my pivot point, it will be temporary because if you want to actually change your pivot point location, you need to do this in your 3D software. But I can just hold the V and middle mouse button on the sphere in the middle, and I can change the location of the pivot point on a certain object. Say I want it to be here, and now I can rotate my object related to this new pivot point location. So this is also some helpful stuff. And for example, if I want to place a certain chair, I can just go to starter content, props, and get my chair rotated, scale it, whatever I want. Scale it right like this, like this, like this, like this is up to me. If I, for example, want to add another third person character, I don't know where this in my folders, I can just click on this, right click, browse to asset, and just drag it down to the level. And I can just also rotate it, scale it to whatever I want. So this is pretty much it for the basics. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.